All right. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Uh, it's Doug here. Thanks for joining me. I'm getting ready to play uh, our second episode of Marvel's Midnight Suns. And uh, with that, you know, we played the first episode. I got through the first couple of missions for you. I really want to show you how deep this game actually gets. It's, it's pretty pretty solid game. Gets deep both in role-playing and in combat. I, actually, the one I, if I had a minor gripe, it would be more combat, more variety. But I'm sure they'll get to that in future updates. But uh, I am enjoying it so far. It's pretty amazing. So let's uh, let's dig in and get started. We're going to continue our game. We are about to go talk to Tony Stark. And uh, again, I've completed the game. I actually played it once with a, a female hunter on the light side of things using light powers or the light abilities only. I had a few dark ones, but I got rid of them. This one, I'm going to go all dark. Probably another playthrough. I'll do something in between, maybe, perhaps. I don't know if I want to do another playthrough. I'm sure there's some other games coming that I'm going to enjoy. But uh, um, yeah, probably one, as a board gamer and a PC gamer, com uh, console gamer, whatever you want to call it, video games, I uh, I tend to gravitate toward games like this, like Darkest Dungeon, uh, like uh, Slay the, the Spire, things like that, that are not necessarily deck builders, but st you know tactical, strategic games that have great visuals and interesting mechanics, etc. Like this one. This one's got really wonderful mechanics. Um, and we're going to go talk to... We left off. We were about to go talk to Tony Stark after almost getting defeated you by Venom. Scathed. It looks scathed. Yes, definitely. The guy who What's plays up, Tony Big Stark, H? this is actually good. He's a lot like uh, Robert Downer Jr. I think he emulated him on purpose, but it's it's pretty good. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. You know, one thing I definitely want to do in this episode, I just noticed, is I am going to turn down the music just a little bit. I'll leave the master volume up for sound effects and uh, people talking, but we'll turn down the, the tunes. All right. Uh, Tony left me with a nice little gift uh, this is our room, by the way. You can see it's sparse. One of the other things you can do in this game is 
upgrade just about everything. These crates are full of things. There's a desk here we'll uncover eventually. And we use something called gloss to do that. And it's uh, an, a, a currency that you get in the game. Hi, but, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. <laughs> so this is uh, a communication device, like uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know, but, you know, anything that you'd see today. But it's just for the superheroes. They could talk to each other, private message each other. You know, it's a lot like, I guess, Discord would be the closest thing. Anyway, you can see that there's already people talking. And some of these conversations are actually pretty funny. Like Robbie here just put his first post. Uh, Nico responded, what do you mean? We've had Superlink for months now. We use it every day. I meant first post that the hunter sees. Robbie, you can't keep doing this once someone new joins Superlink. Yes, I can. He means he will throw your spark in the lagoon, says Ileana. Robbie says he wouldn't do that. Right, Blade? Right, Blade? Fine. Last time. So there's a lot of this little banter going on that really highlights the personalities of the various characters. Um, it says, first we make Wanda leave. This is from Ileana. She's really upset about that, but by the way. Now we leave her to die. Some heroes. I assure you that is not the case, says Stephen Strange. She was sent to, to you for protection. I see how that worked out, Supreme Sorcerer. We both know it's more complicated than that, Miss Rasputin. I took Wanda as my apprentice for a reason. Have faith she can handle herself. Strange did everything he could to get to Wanda. So did I and the hunter. Take a breath, Ileana. We'll get back to her soon enough. Wanda should be here with us. Of that, I am in agreement. So you see they even have some conversations that maybe they don't like. There's some other things that this does. Eventually, you, you can find our photo booth and all this, the covers we've created. The first one we created was this Doctor Strange cover. And now we get to explore a room a little bit. Um gonna inspect some things here's where we get to There's never enough room for my armor in this thing yeah never enough here's where we get to explore some things now right now he's just got some clothes to wear we don't have any of them um, and we can make it so he can change clothes throughout the day I like to I had it toggled where we could do that so like we'll get his athletic black suit there now he's got something else he can wear and we've done our job there now when we interact, it might be, is it open up? It does, okay, now we can do room upgrades. So we, you can see we have all these various room upgrades that we can put on there. We're gonna start with, of course, the plush dog bed. There's already a dog bed there, but gotta make it plush for our dog. Our dog's actually very important. You'll see that later. Our dog's not a normal dog either. And again, like I said, this could be spoiler filled. So if there's something you haven't watched any spoilers on and want to play, you will get spoiled here. I think we'll put in this lovely little couch first, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Bedside table. That would be good. Bookshelf. Get rid of those crates. Fine nightstand. Let's do the fine nightstand. Why not? Create the nightstand. Looks all nice and pretty. All right. I don't want to use all our gloss on this right now. So we'll, we've done that part. We can also customize our room and change our bedding and eventually some other things, too. Curtains, stuff like that. All right. I think we've done that. Let's go check out this nightstand. There is a faded journal page. Now, I'm going to put these up on screen. If you want to pause it and read it, that's fine, but I'm not going to read all of these. There's a lot of them. And eventually, if you collect them all, then you get all the hunter journal ones, all the, the ones from Caretaker that you get in. You're, well, we'll leave that for later. But you collect them all, you start to get some stuff. And I told you the Abbey is much bigger than Metal it appears. Journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Yes, maybe it is time. But you also saw that we got some rewards, some arcane power and stuff like that that we'll be able to use. And I think once we've done everything in here, all we can do is get some rest. Wait, we can't do it yet. What are we missing? Inspect the journal page, closet, and painting. Oh, we got to inspect, inspect the painting. Okay. You were all so happy then. That's your dog, by the way, just so you know. But this is a 1710 painted with the, uh, Sarah and Agatha. 
If you follow um, Marvel Comics at all, you know who Agatha is. And uh, we're going to go to sleep. Sleep doesn't do anything in particular. visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Okay, one thing you gotta do every day, faithfully as part of the game, is give some love to your pet. It actually has a game impact. As you'll see in just a moment, in the bottom corner, I got five gloss and five arcade knowledge from just from petting my dog. Stark has requested your presence in the forge. Yeah, I got you. I think he has another present for you. Another present. I don't know if Super Leaks The Sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. Okay, so the forge, this is where you start to see some of the things that are going to be happening here in the Abbey. We'll get into it. Uh, you'll see a lot of mechanics that happen through some really good, cool things like the forge. I think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. Uh, I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, Fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think I could have used a cloak. So 
So that's your first set of armor. There will be others. Stylish, damn near indestructible. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. And eventually you'll be able to do a lot more could have benefited from a here at the Forge. Uh, and there, by the way, there is a lot of role playing and talking cloak. here. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? I think it's awesome. It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. <laughs> was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Hmm. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. Nice. We're going to play a dark, darker character, so let's see what he says. I here. may be a few hundred years behind, but I know that tone. Oh, you are a sharp one. But no, I'm insulting the situation. Okay. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. But you and the doctor seem to work well together. Well, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at making sense of this madness every now and then. He's not talking to his cape. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. <laughs> a black cat, yeah. Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. I know what the room is. So what's your story, you Tony? You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military-industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head, and was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. You seem well-adjusted enough, considering. Exactly. Which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped-up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. So this is when you get to start to get some of the upgrades that you can uh, acquire during the game. We'll talk to Doctor Strange new first. Your attire suits you quite well, but how are you holding up on the inside? 
I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You did not awaken me to discuss feelings, Doctor. I'm ready to do what I must. Ah, yes, you mean complete your prophesied destiny and bring about the destruction of your mother? I know some psychiatry professors at my alma mater that would love to talk with you. How you feel is just as important to me as your mission, Hunter. The two are innately interconnected, more than you know. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago, but I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. So you notice those little hearts that were popping up. Uh, building your relationships with the various characters is important, and it actually leads to game-changing effects, game improvement effects, to be in a, on good terms with the various characters that you're going to take on missions with you. Uh, but in the meantime, let's uh, see what uh, Doctor Strange or Doctor Spooky has to tell us about some of the things in, around here. A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but... Typically, his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you've encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Hmm. 
And no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. Okay, we've had a Let good talk. talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. We're going to interact with the, the forge here. You see this gamma coil. That's some of the things we collect when we go on missions. We collected one from now, our first mission. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? So we can, uh, basically, we can click on this gamma coil here, and it says, now, they apply to the characters you took on the mission. So in that first mission, it was Doctor Strange, Blade, and myself. So those are the upgrade cards, or new cards we're going to get. Of course, this is just Got a real common one, so Hot it's not very press. powerful. Forge. So we're going to get to select one of these. I think we're going to take another quick slash for the hunter. Oh, wait. I Maybe not. So I want to go dark on this, but that quick slash is pretty good. Um, well, actually, we can get another stake in and maybe upgrade that. Ah, I don't really want to do this one, though, guys. I really do because it makes more sense. We're going to do it. We'll replace it later. We'll get plenty of opportunity. Hunter, for that. when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Okay, now we're gonna go check out another cool spot. You notice there's constant post to Superlink. You can we can go read them a little bit, but I want to share another cool spot with you, and that is the yard. Welcome to the yard. All these are upgradable. At least too. that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Okay, fine. We can talk train after. first, then talk. All right, then. All right, so that, that uh, Blade kind of liked that. He thought that was cool. All right, but let's uh, see what we can do. Now, we can upgrade our abilities here. Ready to work? Yep, I already know how to do it. So right now, we only have the one card. We got the one card that we just picked up, the Quick Slash. Since we have two, we can use some Attack Essence. You can see across the upper part of the bar, there's Attack Essence, Skill Essence, and Heroic Essence. There's also some another, our Forge level, or sorry, our yard level which is zero uh and we can upgrade Not this quick slash my advice but they're gonna get it either way we can upgrade the quick slash for 30 of that 40 essence so let's do that and it's going to make it give it knockback so now i have a, a quick card with knockback it's really good peace now we can't talk to him and should but uh i know what T carol it says carol wants us for something where's she oh she's right here okay like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. 
Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous and vulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Well, if there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. So you might think these conversations aren't important, but you see those friendship levels uh, increasing, so they are absolutely important. Before we trained, you had questions. Go on, ask. I think the first time around I trained, I talked to him first and he didn't get that little bump. Um, just Can I ask about you? I guess. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Okay, let's see. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. <laughs> I love Blade. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Anyone else? Yes. Um, yeah. What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people, easygoing. 
Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Okay. Anyone else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anyone else? Well, we should Tell know about Caretaker. What you think of Sarah? Well, there are a few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. Mm -hmm. That's I'm true. surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Who else? Nobody. That's all. Nobody else. Sure. Okay. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Now, this, uh, in the beginning, of course, there's a lot more dialogue. I saw something I'm going to go grab. It's over here. Floating around, like little boats, are resources. They're not, mu they're not much, but they're worth grabbing when you see them. Uh, they add up over time. And we'll see, like, there's one here. Credits. Yo, it's good to see you. Yeah, Robbie, it's good to see you too. Um, okay, now we're gonna go over to Carol. This is gonna Nothing be. Nothing certain these days, yeah. but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is. Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Cree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. We waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is... Impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah. Well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse. In the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. So this is the uh, mirror table where we as long as we're going to be working our in the streets of New York, Blade is among your best advisors. Okay. His knowledge of the city's underbelly is unrivaled. So uh, all we have right now here on this story is a story mission, so we're going to do that and uh, see what uh, that's 
Now, again, eventually this table will be full of missions. We'll even have multiple location areas in the country or world we can go to. Uh, there's just a few of them, but they're still pretty dense, and I think that they could expand on that a lot. So we'll see how this goes, but we're going to do this story mission right now. We're going to get a common gamma, gamma coil and a common artifact. You'll see what those do when we get them. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. Now, um, what's interesting about this is, you know, we're, we have to take these characters right now. That's okay. Normally, later on the game, you'll be able to pick and choose on most missions, at least one of the characters you take. And you don't always have to take the hunter either. You can mix and match there. I found that that's, you almost always want to take the hunter. He, uh, the hunter is one of the more powerful characters. And if you are not injured or something, which is actually really hard to do, there's... Well I, well, I won't get into that. We'll get into that later. But anyway, let's go on this mission. So you can see that, like, now we can actually, you know, I think we can look at our squad here. Or no. Why does it do that? I thought you could. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can look at the mission details by pressing F. But I thought we were able to um, look at our cards. This is a normal difficulty. I thought we could pick on them and see. Oh, yeah, here we go. View hero deck. Uh, left shift. There we go. Okay. So we can look and see what our cards are there. But we'll see. We, we know what they are. We haven't really done any upgrades. And you should always do the upgrades before uh, the mission. So let's just continue. That will be our cover for the next this episode. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Trench coat, sunglasses at night, brooding personality. Something tells me these midnight warehouse raids are pretty normal for you. There's a lot of place down the road. Stays open till three. Oh, right, sure. Only maybe next time save less vampire. There's a lot of banter that goes on in the game. Don't worry. This is a different portal to a different location. Let's go. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. So we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. Here we are in limbo again. Not bad for our first team up. It almost feels like cheating with you two on our side. Well, let's see. I don't think it's going to feel like cheating at all. Especially since we're playing on a higher difficulty level. I really want to do... I do really want to try and get the ultimates open ultimate difficulties. We'll see. Probably can scratch a band end off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Yo, on a fan off. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps the more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hmm. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. <laughs> yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. I think they know they couldn't kill Captain Marvel. Okay, this uh, in this mission we just have to defeat all the enemies. I always considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Looks like a lot of these are minions. 
probably not going to have to worry about too many of them. But I could see these guys are minions. That's a shame because I could knock them back into the skylight there. But um, with my knockback attack, can I get two of them? Can I get. See if I could knock. Nope. About, let's see. What about. Oh, you know what I can do? I could knock you back into this and kill both of them. That will count as a quick. Um, and I'll kill one and really seriously damage the other. Let's do that. Good start. I don't want to take too long thinking about my moves because then it'll get boring. <laughs> so we got to move rather quickly on some of these things. Um, what do we got going on here? No, we don't have. We got. I'm going to redraw one of the make it bleeds. We don't need two. So we get maybe some another quick. Good, good, good. Okay. I can't kill him with it. I can't kill him with the, um, no knockback. We can get this guy. That's fine. Two down, and no card play lost yet. Um, we will uh, apply, do make it bleed. That's, that's a no-brainer. Gives us some heroics. Looking good, feeling good. Strike, which is going to be a chain with applying two bleed, chain two. So we will get, I think, we get these guys in the back here with that. I could kill him with the knee strike. Probably. Stake. He's not hurt, so we'll leave that alone. I got another redraw. I think I'm going to redraw the stake right now. I could do the photon beam. Probably do a lot. Let's see what I could do with that without even moving. I think we could do quite a bit of damage here. Don't, I can't kill that guy, really? Huh. Well, it's not very effective then for three uh, power. But everything's going to use a card anyway. I might as well. I have four. This one will generate another one and apply a bleed. So let's, yeah, okay, fine. We'll blow that up. Well, we'll blow the one to back up here. That'll do more damage to them. To both those guys, I think. It won't kill him, but it'll hurt, hurt, hurt him too. Let me blow that thing up. So let's do it. You asked for it. Now, if you play three you make that cards of hers, you're going to get the special ability to go binary. It's Pretty nasty. Um, we'll see if we actually get to do it or not. So let's uh, chain strike these two. We won't be able to kill them with this, but they'll bleed. Get some. It sounds to me like they just missed their. And we're out of cards, but let me write of things we can do. And I still don't have the pushback on the move. Like, that's going to hurt him. Did we get rid of this guy? Yeah, we get rid of this guy. Let's do it. We got for now. It's okay. And I still have a move left, but I don't really see a point in it. Um, and I have one. I don't think I can get anybody with... I can blow this up now and it won't hurt anyone. Except for that guy and he'll die. I don't know if it's worth it. There'll be we'll we'll get some uh, reinforcements coming in, so we'll save that for the reinforcements. And I think we're gonna end it there. Never surrender. If you say so, they're all gonna shoot Carol. Huh? Okay. These are not doing a lot of damage yet. Hey, that hurt. Yeah, it did. That's okay. We'll go get you. We got company. Of course, it didn't. See, this is why I saved the barrel. So now look. I'm going to blow these guys up. Oh, he just died on his own from bleeding. Good, I thought that would happen. Okay. Tactics mode allows you to quickly assess the entire battlefield. I've and never that, been one to buy into the science that is of this. magic. But the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. Basically, that's this. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? We might as well quick shoot down this guy. Wait, let's see what we got here. So I got 48. I can restore some. I'm going to have to heal Carol. Yeah, we'll just quick kill this guy. Come get me. Your mother. Your mother. All right, we can 
I want to heal her before I do anything else. The light will carry you onward. Just like old times. Got two cards left and a stake last deal. I don't see a reason for that one yet. We can knock him. Let's see. Yeah, we can do that. Kill them both. Nobody's in the way of getting damaged from that. Sure, let's do that. Uh, that'll be good. Okay. Your time has come. Yeah. It has. Only one guy left Wait, on the battlefield. Think we can take Hydra. him. He's pretty uh, damaged. We'll uh, do this. I could have made that so much worse. Battlefield's cleared. Boom. Two turns. That should give me three stars. Better give me three stars. Oh, it's not over yet. Now, Mission's now. not over yet. Quickly! Let's go, go, go! Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test Mother's device. So she's binary right now. I mean, she's tougher. Okay, we have to recover the artifact. Nobody's. I think this guy the record, here. Bruce? I did not smash new enemy, by the way. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. Yeah, we'll and do that. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with. All right. So. This shouldn't take too long. Uh, got some slashes. That they're not quick, though. Got this quick attack. Let's see about these guys over here. They're in range of that. I'd rather get that. Yeah. It's, he's not in range of much. We'll uh, shoot him. It's on. You generate a couple some heroism because I can take bad. these two guys down right away, too. There's one. What do I need to dump this on him? Two? Okay. Let's see. We can get this guy. Do we have knockback? We do. Let's see. We'll stun him, knock him into there. Or I could knock him into there and do that, get both those guys. Start whittling down his shields. It's not going to kill him, though. Stunning is probably better. A lot more damage. I don't think it's going to help because we're not going to take his shields all the way down. We might as well do this. Never seen that before. Okay. I kind of want to knock this on these two guys because I'm pretty sure it will kill them both. It will. So let's do that. Okay, got those two guys down. Now we can... Got two car plays. We can get this guy. He's gonna die, so it doesn't really matter. You are lucky to still be breathing. Can I blow that up on him? Yep, let's do it. Kill them all. We got a lot, we took care of a lot of enemies in the first round. That was great. There's only one, two guys left and one stunned. I do have a move and I have two redraws. I don't think I care about, you know, we're not going to need this, I don't think. We'll redraw this, see what we get for next turn. Oh, I could do this. We have a card play, we just didn't have any, you know, we didn't have any heroes. So this will be good. 
Draw three cards until you have a hand of three. Sure, why not? It'll give us two more heroes for next turn. Or this turn. I'm already binary, so we don't need to do that. But what happens if I blow this up? How much? No, it's not going to get through a shield, so I'll save it. Okay, we'll have a good round of cards for next turn. Yeah. Move. So he's dazed him. Daze means that I gotta play a number of cards before he undazes, basically. Okay, we gotta. Now that we've taken out most of the bad guys here, we gotta go after. Uh, you can see, we got a couple. The blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Got a couple of minions unknown here. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let hide. Nice Use that move. quick ability so we don't lose a card play. Don't need that. We just did that. I think we'll uh, just redraw that. Make him bleed. Eh. Okay. We'll do that. That'll give us some good heroes. Ought to make things interesting. Okay. Daze is removed, and we got another strike. So I think, though, we want to do this on him, start really taking him down. If I can get a big hit on him. He's immune to knockback. Maybe I should do the stake. But Blade's not hurt. That's not really helpful. Chain two and kill the guys in the middle. All right, this guy and this guy. Get that done. Give us another heroism. Okay, we'll do that. Boom. Getting better every day. And we're third, uh, fourth level for Blade. Good job. We got six heroes to spend. And I could kill this guy, but I think yeah, it's not going to kill either. But it'll damage his. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. This guy's not dead yet, but. We'll get him. I only have one card to play. I'm really thinking I do this. I'm still not going to take down his shields. So I could get rid of this guy. This is taking too many turns. I'm not going to get a good score. i got to work this out, like, fast. Um, let's see. Nope. I don't think the Hunter's going to be able to reach there from leaping off there. I think that's too close. Uh, well, I don't want to spend it if I don't need to, so I could do this. It's not going to do much, but it's okay. Get ready. Did take out that last guy. Next time, next round, we'll focus completely on him. With that mount? Yeah, we'll, we will focus entirely on that guy. Even if some minions come out. So we're in our third turn. I really want to get him down this turn if I can. Still protecting the device there. Still bleeding. That's good. So we, we've got him. We're getting him. We won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures totally without a got baseline it. resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Totally got Got you. it. Stop the truck. Let's see. Okay. That's going to do 33 points of damage. I think we're about to get through his shields, right? No, not, not yet. Let's, uh, I don't know if we're going to need this. Let's redraw it. Let's see if we can get a quick, a quick card. No, a bunch of knee strikes. We'll We'll do that one, too. No. Wow. That's terrible. Okay. Um, let's use our first attack. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to kill both of them with this, really. Okay. Maybe she can? Come over here. And... No. Not going to do it either. All right. Well, we're not going to be able to kill him this turn, I don't think. We can try. 
Let's uh, first do this. Yes, he's immune. I get it. Maybe we can't. She is binary, so just pull it. Okay, we're into his health now. His shield's gone. We can collect the... Okay, remember, this is the goal. So we're going to do this right now. We're still going to have to kill the guys, but we made our objective in three turns. Okay, now we got to defeat the remaining enemies. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Can't kill him, so we might as well. We can probably photon beam both these guys to death. Nope. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, wait, I gotta move. I gotta move. We can move her. We're gonna move her, line up, and just take these guys out. I don't see any reason why not. Wait, can this get to him now? It can. All right. There's a... Boom, that's a little damage. Time. Come on, Blade, get up. He's stunned. I guess he's stunned. Dave says Dave, but I've used multiple. I haven't. I've only used, well, I've used two cards. All right. Did this put you in a position? Throwing that to photon blast both these guys down. Yes, okay. Uh, all right. You gotta kill them all anyway. Finally. Now they're really in What level did she get? Third level? Okay, not bad, not bad. I can't do anything else really. God, it's four turns. I'm not gonna get my three stars. We'll have to do better than that. At least nobody got knocked out. Okay, the difficulty levels make a difference. Uh oh. He's uh blowing up. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. Purple pants with your name on them. I think you got him. We got him. I could kill him. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. This well. Now I teach them to fear me. Not a okay, four turns. Not terrible. Not great. We've done it. So, like I said, it's not just your ability to what defeat is this them. Thing? Bad guy crate, full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols from the time of the first hunt. That cliff means barrier. That one almighty, something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? Okay, so uh, what do we get for this? Uh, two stars, that's not going to get us to the next difficulty level. Uh, we did get some bonus uh, gloss for our mission being complete, and we got a bonus of 45 for it being on difficulty 2, which is what we see here. I can't go to difficulty 3, I think, right? Do I have the ability to? I can. Do I do it? I'm already not getting level 3 missions. We are not going to do that yet. Okay, but we did get some loot, too. And uh, do I like that cover? Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of her thing. She ro ro ripped up the roof and got uh, went binary when that energy hit her. So we'll call it her day and give her the cover. Besides, she looks awesome. It's all good. All right. Let's uh, get back to the Abbey. Have our little comeback scene come back like heroes, right? Got no thing about nice taking people on missions. There, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my 10th run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good 3 centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. 
The eternal spirits of vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. <sighs> it is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again. Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. I should rest. Another time. So here we are back in our room. Let me see. How did this work again? Nico sent us a private message. So we'll check that now. Where did our dog go? Just there. Okay, super link. Now we're going to get these private messages. We can read all these. I'm going to put them up on screen. If you want to read them, you can. Okay. You can pause and read on. Okay. Uh, but this one's going to be more important. Hunter, you there? By the way, this is Nico. In case nobody gave you the rundown on how sparks work, Blade and Captain Marvel just filled us in. Freaky stuff, especially Faustus. And then they all just left me here alone. You should come hang out. Thank you, Nico, but I'm tired. Okay, she's not going to leave me alone. Hi, either. Hunter, I know you're awake in there. You just replied to me. Guess I have to open it. <laughs> Good. You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So... If you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> you're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just Hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She. Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn, and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of ancient winners a little? So this could be our first hangout. Hangout, Despite sir. almost getting blown up, it seems you did pretty well out there. Maybe there's hope for the world yet. Hangouts are important relationship builders. There's also these chests, which we don't have keys for yet. But we're going to hang out with Nico and uh, see how that goes by watching a movie. I know this entire situation's got to suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. It makes me hate her even more. Now, if you didn't know, Nico was one of the Runaways, um, and uh, that's actually a show you can watch on Disney+. Plus. She's actually in it, the character, and it's the same voice actress, which makes it interesting. But uh, I just thought I'd throw that little tidbit in there. 
Uh, let's see. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. I really needed that. So let's talk about what happened here. Uh, we got a new swimsuit for Nico. We'll go check that out with her. We got a new tank top uh, for our main character. It's a, a epic outfit. This is a rare outfit. And then we got some bonus points. So friendship reward, eight friendship gain. Uh, she loved the activity. She likes movies. You got to pay attention to these things. It matters because it'll give you bigger scores. And we got a plus one on the bonus. Eh, not so great. So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Uh, think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I had some questions about your old team. The Runaways? Sure thing. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert, she, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Hmm. Guess we can ask a I little bit more. some questions about your staff. Go for it. Can you tell me how the staff of one functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. Interesting. Okay. I should get going. Uh, good... Good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and 
Wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. So, uh, I won't go through every I'm single conversation, in your free but I do, need to, I do need to get my uh, friendships up, so These it is important. These grounds haven't changed in hundreds of years, and yet they always seem different to my tired eyes. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. I remember many sleepless nights and blood-soaked days. Always on the hunt. I'll give you that. But there were times back then I wouldn't trade for anything. With both you and... Agatha. Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. You do not have to do this. Thank you, but I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her. But she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes. Incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Okay, remember, now, here's a light and a dark choice. This is the first time we've seen this. I am going to be making the dark choices to build up our dark. That doesn't mean evil. It just means you're more militant, less forgiving. You're still a good guy, but you're taking a darker path. I don't know if that changes the storyline down the road or not, but that's what we're going to do. Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that, especially given her current situation. <sighs> Wanda, Agatha, it seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. So balance. The hunter can follow the path of light or dark throughout to, through the choices they make in the abbey and abilities they use in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as a hunter moves down either path. So we're going to move down a darker path. And there's we're following Charlie. Where's Charlie going? So remember, I told you the abbey's quite large. There's a lot to explore here. We will definitely be doing a lot of that as well. You, um, for example, there's things that you can. Uh, acquire ingredients stuff like that but I think we're going up to the Agatha's shrine right here
Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. Oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? We're going to follow Agatha now to this. This is one of the exploration parts of the game with the Abbey Grounds. Pretty interesting, actually. So we're going to have to go through a challenge to unlock a word of power. This looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do, but it's always polite to ask. Whoa. Well, here we go. Yes, we're going to do the trial, the trial of the Elder God, Ashtur. We absolutely need to do this. I think I'm fourth level. I am. We're good. Besides, I, it's not that hard of a fight, the first one. There are multiples as you go through and discover the words of power that can open things in the, the game. Not what you were expecting, is it? There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> Charlie? Go Charlie. The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Okay. We have to defeat all the enemies. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. We're going to jump in here and mark all of these nine critters. Leave some for the rest of us. And if you see marked, it says for the next two turns, refund a card play when KO'd. So we're going to start KOing them, right? Uh, the ones we can. Yep. Now this does not have a re 
But I that might does not refund card plays only, but because of that ability, it does. We're going to have the same thing here with this one. I think we can get most of them. Yeah, we can get these guys. We'll kill all of them with the howl, I think. Now that was something. So now I got a quick slash. This one will recover one, so let's get one that's not in that bundle right there. We've got two turns with them. Yeah, we'll kill that one. You were too weak for this fight. As you can see, we're continuing to refund card plays because of that. Oh, we're not going to be able to kill. Well, hold on. Let's do this. Maybe now we can kill him. What do you think? Nope. What if we whip one into the other? Still no. Well, let's do it anyway. Your fate is sealed. So we're gonna we're running out of our card Slate plays now. To mention your mother. Apparently, I'm gonna redraw this. I don't need it. And we got a bite, which we will be able to kill somebody hopefully. Any one of them. Let's get these tougher ones out of the way. Well, actually, yeah, we'll get that one. So we didn't use up our card play, but we don't have any more cards. Oh wait, we got a howl again. So yeah, well, let's go uh, do the same thing over here, right? Let's get them all. Yeah. I'll have them marked for next turn. Centuries ago. Let's see if we're gonna move the hunter here. Get the, finish this guy off, I think. Still get one of these guys. So now we have less to deal with next turn. All right, now they are going to attack us though, so we need to. I got one more to go. Can I get any one of these guys? Let's see. Yeah. I'll get that one. One less attack. All right, we're doing pretty good on this one. We're going to get this one in two turns. We're out of cards. Only three of them, so we're okay. I don't think that I think there are any reinforcements. I don't remember. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. Okay, we still got marked on this one, right? Yeah, so we'll kill it with a slash. Knockbacks don't even matter. But it'll matter on Your the next attack. Right? So still have a card play. And I can do the quick slash, which has knockback as well. And take both these out. We're done. Boom! Two turns. There you go. Feel Mike. Good girl, Charlie. Heck oh, yeah. And you too, Hunter. You finish this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. All right, well, here you go. Look, we got uh, quite a bit of gloss there. Nice 75% bump because we're on Heroic 2. And we only got two, only two stars from that. I, can, I literally completed it in two turns. I don't know how much faster I could have completed it. Well, I guess there were ways. I just didn't know what they were. Uh, seemed like I did that pretty efficiently. Literally only took two turns. But it is what it is, so... Now, we have a word of power. So, how do the words of power work? Well, you'll see. I don't have it yet. i got to go grab it. So, we're going to go into this cave. And I'm, I'm telling you, the Abbey Grounds, I didn't think they were that big. And then I found out how big they actually are. There's a whole, like, adventure land to play on in here. So, here's the, this is a moon seal. 
Moon seals get us words of power from the Elder Gods. We're going to place it on here. This looks like and boom, we now have the word of power open. And we got 15 arcane knowledge. Right to be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? She means over there, up the stairs. I don't think there's anything in here right now other than that. Nope, okay. Now, yeah, we're gonna use the word of power. It's, we put space bar, we have, there's four words of power. We only have one right now. And it allows us to open up Blessings of the goddess. gates. Now, we don't have any keys, so I can't open that yet. But uh, we do get to run up through here. Pretty cool, and talk to Agatha. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Caretaker isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. So we didn't get to explore the rest of the night. We had to, we went to the next day, which is fine. Uh, maybe I'll try and get us in one more fight before we call this uh, episode. It's uh, going to be a long one, right? So start with by petting our dog good every girl, day. Charlie. Charlie was good in a fight. <laughs> Got some credits and some knowledge. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, we do. We did have some things we can open up. Let's uh, do some customization. Got some clothing options that open. What is this tank top of Technarch? That I like that one. Let's get that. 150 though. I don't know if I'll we'll spend that yet. Let's uh, get some more. Wife beater. No thanks. Let's do that. Okay. Now we can also change it so we can wear our combat outfit or just our change our we'll change our outfits daily i think that's good now you see there's all kinds of other options you can swim trunks or board shorts we can open up the board shorts leave it alone for now and also get some face props let's uh, look and see what we got we got aviator glasses and nothing let's uh choose the avi aviator glasses why not we're gonna buy them now we got some we also have uh, other things crowns and headbands and stuff like that that we can get and it'll open up more stuff later on and also do makeup we're not going to do that um, and then you see we have all these locked outfits that we can't even see yet so it'll get better it'll be cool I'm not going to worry about a room upgrade right now but I do want to do this let's see let's go to our heroes and go to Nico we did get something for Nico I believe customized we do got two things so let's see what we got here um, we got the Nico One Piece Rare for 50 or One Piece Common. We got her bikini. Let's do this because it's rare. And then let's see, outfits wise, we've got some things opened up. Um, I like that a lot. Don't, yeah, that's nice. Uh, we'll just randomize her outfits. So she'll wear different things every day. We'll do that for all of them actually. Though I don't think we do have some customization op options for her. Yeah, we'll randomize this too. 
and let's see. Let's uh, do that. We don't have anything new for her yet, but it's okay. And I think I didn't do that for Nico yet. Let's see. Yeah, change outfits daily. Okay. Um, again, we got to get more outfits for him, so we'll worry about this later. But at least uh, a lot of good, fun cosmetic things that you can do with your characters in the game. I don't know if that looks cool uh, or not, but uh, is this thing on? Uh, Hunter, please come <laughs> to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, Sorry. that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, All right. Strange out. Doctor Spooky. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Whatever. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I would be highly suspicious of anything that Hydra has had in its possession. My advice would be to do what Tony says. Destroy whatever is in there immediately. With all due respect, Hunter, that would be short-sighted and foolish. Wow. For one thing, okay. it's very, very hard to dispose of magical items. The repercussions are sometimes unexpected. Besides, I need all the magical items I can get. And why is that? Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. Yeah. Metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It so doesn't bite. I can tell taking the dark path is not going to give me a good relationship with Doctor Strange, so I need to be a little careful about that. Are there any curses I should be aware of? Now we're going to study this common artifact. It's going to give us uh, forge levels. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. Place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. 
now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. And we will. So, you see that... Uh, this artifact is mundane in every conceivable way. We got some... We got a knife artifact, common artifact, and then some bonuses to our uh, things we can buy, some stat stuff, or, you know, uh, essences that we can upgrade cards with. And we uh, now are research level one in our forge. So now we can research projects. We got these three we can research. There's, I have to complete one mission with Doctor Strange. We did that. I think this is the ideal item to get. Um, Carol says we need to blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we need to the threat. As usual, she's right. Forge increase, uh, increase the ability options and earn additional abilities when gamma coils. Hmm, both these are really good. Create powerful single-use items. Uh, these are really good, by the way, combat items. I think we'll start with that one. Just extra things that we can use for free in combat. It takes time to research those, so we'll just leave that go. But we do have another hey, gamma Amber. coil to open for the three that went on that mission. What do we get? Got some upgrades for you. Hot off the press. Uh, we're getting all forge. Holy flame is pretty good. It's a healing thing. See, I think this is why I went light. Mystery. I like the we light close. abilities. We'll have to take that, and I think we'll take. Let's take a. Uh, make it bleed so we can upgrade it. Oh, we only took the one, so we just took the letter. Okay, well, that's Tony. okay. Well, they're uh, hey, researching Hunter. now. Uh, got a sec to spare? Show. There's stuff. What's this? That is something. You've been here more in the past few days than I have since ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good. How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days. <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with, like, 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. I am the Scourge of the Lilith. My name is whispered in fear across the Seven Hells. When I fight, I make war, not make-believe, Robbie. Be sure your Sparky is ready to do the same. Damn, Hunter. You talk the same kind of smack that he does. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Okay, we got some things to do in the yard. Uh, sparring is open for Hunter, us. Ready to get your burn on? Oh yeah, we're You're gonna spar. Training. <laughs> so now in this one we are going to spar with Ghost Rider, but we normally we can pick who we spar with, and it gives you'll see uh, it gives a bonus, a friendship bonus, and a combat bonus boost for Ghost Rider. So if we take Ghost Rider on the next mission, uh, get a bonus. It costs us 13 credits, but it does give us also a training experience. Maybe you should be the. So we got one training experience. We need five to go up to the next level. We got three experience for friendship with our three friendship experience with Ghost Rider. And he got thick skin combat bonus gaining two resist on the next mission start. So again, lots of stuff to Back upgrade. Again. 
Now, we did get a Make It Bleed. I think so we've we got something for everyone. We can upgrade it. So instead of drawing one card, it'll draw, draw two. And the next three turns, the next three damage cards will apply two bleeds. So that's quite a bit more powerful. Costing us 30 skill essence and one. And we have to have, we're going to gain a training experience. So let's upgrade that. We've got two, three now, three training experience. And we have an upgraded Hunter, Make It Bleed. Report to the card. War Room. We've got a mission. Okay, now we got missions. Ooh, it's crazy times. Boom. Okay, Carol. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city, but we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Every second we delay is a victory for Lilith. I have little patience for child's games in the midst of our war. No argument there. Look, I don't know if you've noticed it, but she seems to like you. I've known magic just about as long as you have, and all I've gotten from her is a few grunts and words I'm afraid to translate. Maybe you'll do better. <sighs> Fine. I will retrieve her. Well, when you phrase it like that, I'm sure she'll just be begging to help. Good luck, Hunter. I shall return shortly. Fingers crossed. So where is Ileana? She is not here. She's oh, out here. Nope, that's Blade. That's uh, I don't see Ileana on the map. Well, you know what? This has been a long session. I'll pick that up. Uh, we're going to save our game here, and uh, we'll come back to it in the next episode. So I know we didn't do a lot of fighting, but we've done a lot of things to get the Abbey ready for our next set of things to do. Um, and we'll go on some more missions and, and build up some cards and stuff. But there is a lot of storytelling in the game, no question. You do a lot more fighting later. You get basically one combat a day uh, that you can go on, one combat mission. But we'll uh, do that in the next one. So... Thank you so much for watching. We're going to save our game here, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. So take care, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day, and uh, we're going to go confirm our day three save slot and call it a day. So thanks so much. Take care. Talk to you soon. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, don't uh, It helps, helps the channel a lot, and I appreciate it. So take care.